When you have premature babies, you are even less prepared for how it will change you, both immediately and in the future. One day short of 27 weeks, I gave birth to twins. Cassidy Elizabeth Coles was born first, weighing just two pounds, two ounces, and Dexter Charles Coles followed, weighing two pounds, four ounces. Dexter was much sicker than Cassidy, and the neonatal team would not let us see him. Before Cassidy was transferred to the neonatal intensive care unit, that's Dexter, or the NICU, the nurse lifted her up. Seeing and hearing Cassidy made me realize that these babies are miracles. But five days later, I left the hospital without my miracles. You may know that most parents sleep next door to their children or even in the same room as their newborn babies. But with babies born prematurely, Max, my husband, and I slept across the Charles River. 94 of the next 98 days, I went to the NICU. I waited one week before I was allowed to hold my children while they still remained attached to tubes and wires. I waited seven weeks before they were well enough to be transferred from incubators into cribs. I waited 10 weeks until their breathing masks came off. And this was the first time after 10 weeks that I was able to see my children's faces. 10 weeks to try feeding them without a feeding tube. But 15 weeks after he was born, Dexter came home weighing just about eight pounds. Cassidy followed 10 days later, unexpectedly, just in time for Mother's Day. So it's been almost a year. And she weighed just over six pounds. After discharge from the hospital, getting services for your premature baby is not simple. Dexter and Cassidy needed intensive follow-up and home interventions. Since their discharge, there's been at least 100 appointments with doctors, nurses, and therapists. But our relationship with the Guidance Center's early intervention program started one week after Dexter came home, when Ms. Michelle Sharp, a mental health clinician and music therapist, and someone that I've come to admire, showed up on our doorstep. When Michelle arrived, I was trying to look like I was all set, <laughs> but I did not fool her. Uh, she held Dexter, and she made me laugh about my situation. I don't remember a lot about the details of this time in my life, but I remember meeting Michelle because it was the first time of, that I had felt some lightness and that I had laughed in a long time. Shortly after meeting Michelle, Deborah Strong, an op occupational therapist from early intervention, started to come weekly to my home and do an exercise, exercise program with Dexter and Cassidy. Deborah is fantastic with the twins, and her expert knowledge is delivered in a non-intimidating, thoughtful way. Deborah and Michelle work as a team to address the whole baby, or in my case, babies. For many children born prematurely, progress is possible with their right therapies and environment. Deborah provides these therapies tailored to Dexter's and Cassidy's changing needs over time in our home which is a safe and familiar environment. Compared with developmental screenings conducted at our NICU follow-up appointments, Deborah's assessments provide rich, detailed information for us. Her, th her therapies even make use of our household toys and objects, which makes it easy for Max and I to repeat the therapies between her visits. Just one example of the way that the Guidance Center's staff actually goes above and beyond any of this. In November, I was at an ophthalmology appointment with Dexter. They discovered that he has a genetic eye disease, which results in loss of vision, and has required him to undergo several rounds of general anesthesia for procedures. I'm sorry, I just think he's so cute. Uh, <laughs> During these procedures, I received text messages from Michelle asking me how things were going and whether I needed her to bring me anything, even a coffee. Michelle has also initiated services for Dexter, Dexter at the Perkins School. And given the number of cases that this school is asked to evaluate and service, we would probably still be waiting for their initial assessment if Michelle had not acted on our behalf. Three months ago, once Dexter's and Cassidy's immune system matured, we began attending a playgroup at early intervention. 
Now Dexter, Cassie, and I participate in a routine of free play, scheduled activities, snack and songs with staff who know our issues and provide helpful suggestions and feedback. Lastly, as a parent, I have to tell you how appreciative I am to have access to a group of specialists and parents who share the concerns unique to parents and children with developmental delays. Most parents do not know what it is like to spend the first three months of your children's lives visiting them in the hospital. I did not. Early intervention provides parents with a peer group where they fit in and encourage them to play a big role in their child's development. The incredible support that my family and hundreds of others receives through the Guidance Center's early intervention is not without cost. In addition to therapists and child health experts, we have access to therapeutic equipment, learning materials and playgroups, nutritious snacks, speakers, and other parents who can relate to our situation. I can tell you that this has been invaluable to me, my family, and to the development of the children who are now thriving. The actual cost of providing early intervention services is not fully covered by state contracts. It is covered through funding through the United Way, grants from generous foundations and corporations, and through the generosity of individuals like you. And your gift tonight may help many families like mine. And I could not be more grateful. Thank you so much for letting me share this, um, my story, with you tonight, and for giving generous, generously to the amazing organization that this is. Um, Dexter and Cassidy, thank you. Max and I, thank you. And my family thanks you. And I never thought that I would be in this situation, um, but it's given me a perspective on life that I never thought I'd have before. And the people who run this organization are tremendous people. And uh, thank you for helping to thank them tonight. <laughs>